Hi, everybody. My name is Mike Benninger, owner of ChefMike.ca and TimeManagement.ca. Today, in the Real Life Kitchen, I'm going to make for you one of my personal favorites, Chicken Bombay Salad. Simple ingredients, available everywhere. Let me run over what you need. Plain yogurt. You can buy this pretty much everywhere. That one's fat-free. You want the full fat, it's completely up to you. But this is pretty rich, so I'd go with the fat-free. Curry powder. Bulk Barn's the best place to buy something like this. Buy 55 cents worth. It goes stale. Just buy a little, use it up, buy some more. Raisins. They've been soaking in a little bit of water. Chopped up celery for some crunch and some fiber. Green onions for a little bit of heat, a little bit of color. These are fully cooked pasta shells. Now, these have been cooked, so they're actually done. You don't want al dente here. You want them fully cooked. You want to rinse them very, very thoroughly to get the starch off. And then I actually use a bit of olive oil to keep them so they wouldn't be separate. If you want to use some canola, that's perfectly fine. In here is about two tablespoons of fresh honey. Don't use the very, very best uh, flavored honeys for this. It's going to be lost in the flavor. All you want is some sweet. If you want to use splendid to keep it a bit lighter, that's completely up to you. A little bit of salt, some fresh cinnamon, and this is about two cups of uh, fully cooked chicken meat. There's light meat and dark meat in here, chopped up quite fine. If you want to use no chicken meat and make this vegetarian, that's perfectly fine too. So what I'm going to do first is get some curry powder into my yogurt. And ideally you can do this a couple hours in advance so it has time for the flavors to actually soak through. But that's completely up to you. The salad actually is pretty good if you make it the day before and then combine the last minute. But what we're going to start off with is a nice big mixing bowl. I like plastic for this. Start off with adding all your pasta. That's about four or five cups. Start off with half of your yogurt. Remember, you can always add more. You can't take it out. You just toss this through. In goes your chicken. Again, you want balance here. Don't add all of it. You want some balance. This is meant to be either a side dish as a salad, or depending on how much protein you add, this could actually be a main course. So in that goes. For some crunch, start by adding, eh, let's start, let's start with half the salad. This isn't exactly a totally full batch. This is a half batch, so we'll add half the celery to start. Raisins for sweet. They've been soaking in a little bit of water. If you want to squeeze all the water out first and drain them, that's completely up to you. If you want to use sultanas or dried cherries or even chopped up dates, whatever you'd like. I like raisins because they're easily available everywhere. And when they reheat them, they, uh, you can put a bit of heated water. They actually come out really, really nice and plump. Honey. I'm going to add, well, let's add most of the honey. Because I like this to be kind of sweet. You, you want to balance the flavors. You've got curry. You've got, now you've got some sweet. We're going to add some salt. And we're going to add some cinnamon. Now, some folks like to add hot chilies to this. I usually do. But today I thought we'd keep this simple. If you want to, the, the website, uh, Real Life on CTS, is actually going to have the recipe posted. So you can kind of take that. And remember, recipes should always be guidelines. They should be the kind of thing that you want to start with and then make your own. So that's how much you can do. A little more chicken. I think that needs a little more chicken. I think it needs a little more yogurt. That's what I think. And of course, some fresh cinnamon for flavor. And just kind of just mix that through. This keeps for at least a day, day and a half. If you want to add up some very finely diced red pepper for a little more color, that's completely up to you. Yellow pepper, it's up to you. Red chili, that's completely up to you. Put that through like that. Now, again, I like to use the plastic tub for this because what I would do now is let this sit for an hour or so, put it in a, put the lid on top, stick it in the fridge, good for an hour. Winter salad, summer salad, all the time. A little bit of fresh onion. This is green onion or scallion or spring onion, depending on what culture you want to use as your reference. Taste one for seasoning. Sweet, salty. Needs a little more honey. A little more salt. And I think a little more green onion. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's how hard it is. Start to finish, once you've got the pasta boiled, five, six, seven minutes, so you can buy all the stuff you need at pretty much any large grocery store. I think you should give it a try. I think you'll really enjoy it. And then all you do is take a portion out, put that on your 
on your plate. Again, this, this is great at barbecues, summertime or wintertime. I barbecue year round, so I'm not really one to worry about you know, only the summer. I barbecue all the time. This is a great salad for that. Again, this, this can be a main course or a side course, depending on whatever you'd like. Take your six of onions to go on top. Maybe a bit of fresh cinnamon around the outside for a bit of garnish. And a little more of there. Some celery as well. And again, use the recipe that I provide on the website. It's a guideline. It's meant to inspire you to do different things, to try different ideas, and maybe make it your own. Red peppers, chili peppers. If you want to try some different spices, try some cumin. Try some different kinds of pasta. Inspire yourself to try new things. Cooking doesn't have to be hard. Cooking can be fun, cooking can be easy. Hopefully here on The Real Life, we've had a chance to show you a few things and to try some new ideas. My name is Mike Bennett, your owner of timeagement.ca and a friend of The Real Life Kitchen. Thanks for watching.